Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Lookout video. Today, Andrea and I have a very special guest with us. Uh, shout out to Mert Dalmis, uh, who won this weekend's Car Market Online uh, Invitational event. So, hi, Mert. Uh, Mert, hi. if I pronounce correctly. <laughs> yeah, Mert, it's okay. Mert, okay, better than. Okay. Um, first off, a big congratulations on the win. Uh, how are you feeling today? Thank you, man. I feel good. Uh, I'm very excited to win that uh, event, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm happy to be uh, to be here. I I can yeah, yeah definitely assume that you're hyped about the win, and thank you yeah. for being our guest. Uh, this will definitely uh, help out uh, both uh, our own community, and definitely uh, also a big shout out to Team Nine Live for prepping you. I assume they have prepped you well enough. <laughs> Uh, well, so, uh, we're definitely Team Nine Life is one of the, one of the, one of the best teams in Europe, and we're happy to have one of one of their best players thank you, man. with us. We're very excited for this interview, and uh, I think I mean Vegix is a deck that you have been playing, so we are very excited to hear more about it. But I guess Matya, first we should uh, give a few words from our sponsor. Definitely a few words from our sponsor, Car Market. Car Market is Europe's largest platform for all TCGs. Always find the right cards by buying and selling them across Europe with other players and collectors. Be it singles, boosters, booster boxes, or any other accessories, you name it. Card Market is the place to get them safely, securely, and readily available. So, uh, first things first, uh, Matt, um, our big question is, why did you uh, decide to play Vegex in this new best of three format which was actually uh announced for the invitational finals at the moment it's my main leader normally i play john ember that's my so my <laughs> my main deck but you can't play the deck anymore so because we're is alive and it's my only deck i have um i'm a type uh, i'm a player like i main one deck so i can so I can know the, the strong uh, things about this deck, the, uh, the bad things about the deck. So I can grind one deck. It's, mm. it's good for me. I will always play it like that in every game I played. That's very interesting to hear because uh, that's a characteristic of very good players because you, you are committed to one strategy and you, you practice against so many other yeah. co combinations and so many other players, very strong players that we have in Europe, some of which you faced in the in the finals last weekend. So, uh, and we know that Vegex is, is really dominating and you are, really, you are really showing it. So, what can you tell us, uh, what, is the, what is the kind of the most favorite opening that you had with this deck? Uh, what is the, uh, apart from the usual, you, you mill, you get cards into play for free, but what is your spice? What, what, what was the, the thing that you think that made your deck special? Uh, so my my thing my spicy things in my deck was the uh, Demigra. The, the Demigra is always good against blue decks, against, against grindy decks. So decks which has a good depth defense like Baby uh, or Dark Broly, something like that. And uh, Demigra gives gives um, the player a huge huge uh, boost. So he draws a card, warps a card, and every attack. So he. Uh, let the uh, open discard one card to uh, open uh, warp area, so he gives a huge boost. It's a very good card, and I took one of the black mask, the um, the one one of here. Uh, yeah, the... I played this card mm -hmm. yeah, against the Gohan players. It's only for the Gohan players. Who, mm -hmm. who, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, a cheese tactic. <laughs> I was well, thinking that you might be using it, uh, but uh, how, how how did it help you? It didn't help me. <laughs> it didn't help me this event, but I, but I want. Uh, I don't want to play 54 cards. So my main deck is 55 now. But I needed one okay. card, and I took this card in. Okay, but definitely uh, the card does have its its uses. So yeah. may, maybe just unfortunate that if it's a one-off in the deck that generally mills. You sometimes don't get to see it, but uh, other than that, it's an uh, excellent addition by far. Uh, maybe a question on my end: uh, You mained three further destruction Champa and one uh, hidden power e Supreme Kai. Uh, were there any specific reasons why you opted not to go uh, four of one uh, and no. then just add the single 
in power uh, Supreme Kai as a random factor. A random factor. I just had uh, three uh, Champas and one Kai, so ah. it had no mm -hmm. reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I see. And uh, what what also interests me is what, what what were your matchups? How did you how did you prepare for this tournament? What what made you kind of fear? What what was what did you fear of, and how how did you approach the tournament? I fear a lot of blue blue decks. Salt Shrek is a really mm. annoying deck. Baby is a really annoying deck. So the blue players have a uh, huge defense with the new cards. The uh, hole negates, the trunks negates, the TP pack, the hatchet negates. So I have a lot of huge defense. That was the only thing I don't want to face. Uh, I just face, mm. face Baby. I uh, stole the Silk. I played uh, only against him with a blue deck. But uh, I had no problems against uh, Broly, red uh, swap Broly. I have no problems against Gotenks. So I really have a huge, huge experience against deck decks. So I didn't fear anything in, that, in this meta, meta, only blue decks. Only blue decks. Yeah, mm -hmm. interesting. And I assume that uh, then uh, most of the stuff in the sideboard uh, was actually to manage against the blue decks, uh, most specifically yeah. the new Son Gohan cha uh, changing history, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but uh, since you played this deck uh, in best of one, now you had to switch to best of three. Can you um, just give us a short insight of wh what the specific side deck uh, options were? What did you mostly switch out for specific matchups or even for some matchups uh, that you uh, had to play? I had in the best of one tournament, so last event, I played uh, 55 card uh, deck two, uh, but I didn't have the Demigras and the uh, Mask in. I had um, the Haru Haru in. So I wanted to uh, have in the best of one tournament a specific type of aggro build. So I always, always want to finish at turn two or three, never later. And I uh, okay. finished all my games at five to, or ten minutes. So I really uh, f finished quick last event, and it was kind of easy event last uh, the last time. This event, uh, there are more good players, really good players, and I changed a bit. I took the draft box cards in, so the Gohan in the sideboard and yep. the Demigras in main. The Demigra helps you a lot against the blue decks. The mask helps you a lot against um, Gohan decks, and I know European players plays really much or more Gohan like the state states player. The American players don't play Gohan like us. Mm -hmm. And so in my sideboard, I have only uh, only sideboard cards against Vegex, so against the mirror and against blue cards. So I guess that was smart because we we saw most of most of the decks in the finals were Vegex, were blue decks, uh, with a lot a lot of really really a lot of them, and they're pretty good. I I was wondering how did Super Kamehameha help you, in the in the side? Super Kamehameha is only against uh, Sun Shenlong. I only uh, mm -hmm. yeah the only thing that I don't need them so hard because I have Demigra. Demigra uh, warps yeah. one card of them, so I have removal in my main bot. But I don't. I want to have an extra card who, who's in the gate against Gohan and uh, removes card, some cards like uh, Dark Broly's uh, or Sun Shenlong long cards. In my uh, you, so you were mentioning you were, you, were, you were mentioning sorry to interrupt. You were mentioning su su Max Power Kamehameha, but I was wondering about Super Kamehameha. Ah, Super Kamehameha. Super Kamehameha yeah. Uh, yeah. against the to uh, pl players who have Topo in his main board and right. uh, against the blue players who plays in the Trunks counter negates or with the baby Gohan in the gates. It's only mm -hmm. against them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the specifically, uh, what was uh, the Son Goku Saiyan Transcendence against? I mean, the card is definitely uh, something that I, I, I at least don't see very often in uh, Vegex build, so uh, what, what 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 was the reason behind that? Just another double strike that can evolve easily uh, at, on top of the negate, or...? Uh... It's against uh, the mirror matchups. It's only for the mirror matchup. So in the mirror <laughs> matchup, you can't aggro the uh, other Vegex player. So the uh, first player who goes aggro uh, before, uh, all in, mm -hmm. who lose the game, so you play like uh, mid-range. Uh, oh. theory thing. Uh, 
um, the Goku evolves on the uh, making entrance, the one drop. Mm -hmm. So I have a negate and evolve target. So after my after my first round, I always side the, the jumpers out. So because when you have yeah. the jumpers in, you can't play that the card. cards. Yeah. So you play a mid range and you can um, overrim some uh, more often, like uh, yeah. when you don't have the cards. This this is very good that you said this because uh, I was wondering because you have five I think five no no five nine overrun cards in your main deck so I was wondering how do you play uh, mid range and and then I saw this uh, and then I saw that you have something to kind of return cards which we yes. just said to return cards from your warp mm -hmm. to to your to your discard pile so you could survive basically so you continue milling milling all all the time it's uh, very very good. It's a really good card. It's an MVP against in a mirror matchup. I tested it really mm. quick, so uh, really often it's a it's really really good card. Um, yeah, you can always take four cards back, so you can over him more often. You can play the Demigras more, and so yeah, Magic is a play, uh, kind of deck when you have no hands, you can all, you can't combo. So when you you always attack the battle cards or unison cards on the field, then you attack their life or make them right. pay her yeah. life. And then attack them, aggro all aggro all them out. So after they have no yeah. hand. Maybe one more question about what which, what was your favorite match against which player and again and which deck? <laughs> uh, Difficult. My scariest match. My, I can tell you my scariest matchup. My scariest mm -hmm. matchup was against Silk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah. Was... I, Sil Silk was, was definitely really a, a big, a big contender, a, a favorite amongst other players as well. Uh, uh, I mean, he, he talked... took a baby deck. He took he... a baby deck to the. So it's, uh, it's. Yeah. If he would, he would, and if he, he did. He did amazing. Deck, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't feel uh, him a lo uh, not that like this event. But he played a blue mm. deck and uh, yeah. baby leader. So yeah. that's yeah. the only thing. Shout that outs. I... Shout outs. Yeah. Shout outs to Silk. Yeah. 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 yeah what, 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 but what, I mean. Should... Yeah, what was the niche that that, that uh, brought you the uh, you you won against Silk if I uh, remember correctly? I right? lost to Silk. Oh, no, you lost, lost to Silk. Oh, so yeah. okay. But the thing in the end, I think, was uh, because they they drew the Silk and another player drew, and then uh, yeah, met one yeah, yeah. his last game. So basically, he had the, the, the most points. Okay, then and he, the game then he, deserved, deserved win. Then here's maybe a better question: uh, What would maybe be the changes you would make to the deck? to counter the blue a bit better or would there be any changes now that you um, play through the tournament and that the scariest and most difficult matchup the only one you lost was to silk uh, i wouldn't change the list so i would would take this mm. list and play it in another uh, event but i don't think vegex is Next events, uh, I think this, this leader gets an arena or get banned. So it was my last event with him. <laughs> but um, against Silk, it was good too. But yeah, blue is a very uh, difficult color for for Vegex. Yeah, and he's a good player. The thing was about, uh, about him, he drew two times. So he had drew the, he has yeah. two draws, and I have he has five four uh, wins and two draws. I have four, uh, five wins and one loss. So I. Have yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 What happens in, in big tournaments at the end when there is no top cut? Uh, if if there is no top cut, then uh, then the Swiss is everything you can count on. But it, it, it got you the win, and we are happy for you for that. And yes, it's yeah, it's really sure. something to to really cel celebrate. And uh, it's it's good to know the your experience because this this was the last big mm -hmm. tournament this year in Europe. We are all all years for like amazing events also next year by card market and by other tournament organizers in in europe so we are hoping that everybody will use this kind of this digital uh, digital transformation of of this kind of this this game basically so we can play more with physical cards we are really hoping for for more of that and really uh wishing you luck in your in your in your in the, in the locals that you'll be playing in i guess you're you are still playing in locals or are things now we can't play in locals uh yeah. not even online uh, online we can play but uh yeah, we meet. We met. Uh, we meet each other. Our friends. We meet each other in real life, but uh, we can't play. Right. In, in, we can't play in uh, locals at the moment. Uh -huh. Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, okay, I understand. Um, yeah. But but still, it's just a nice addition to have uh, the option to play with somebody you can at least trust. Uh, everybody's yeah. for sure staying uh, positive, staying safe and responsible. 
but again uh, everybody loves the kitchen table sessions so uh, yeah. we can only yeah be happy uh, at least for the, those stuff uh, at, when of course you don't have the luxury of online uh, local tournaments uh, yeah. for the time being okay i also miss the yeah go ahead no 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 <laughs> please do I wanted to I wanted to refresh how it was because Mert and I actually met in Frankfurt last year in uh, in Germany and then also saw each other in the in the European regionals this year the only physical event big event that took place this year and I'll never forget it how fun that was it was a uh, it was I think it was a two day thing I think it was no yeah was it was a two day event Frankfurt, yeah Frankfurt or in Salford you mean in Salford in Salford Salford was a two days and in Frankfurt, yeah Frankfurt as well. There were, there were team, uh, teams on the second day. Yeah, the, the top card was in the first day. Right, right. I right. was in the first, uh, in the first day on the top card, but yeah. Yeah. Cool. But well, it's, uh, it's 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 amazing to do this, and uh, really thank thank you for explaining explaining how you played and why you played certain 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 cards. We're gonna be uploading the video very very soon, but we are not done yet. Uh, do you want to give some shout outs, Matt? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my German community. Um, I'm glad to win this event, so I gave my uh, my my players, my German players. Uh, I want to bring them on the radar. So I I think the German players are uh, kind of not shown in the pub, uh, public. So I want always uh, I want to give them them shout out shout out to my team Nine Life shout out to the American players uh, some of them teach me a bit about the stack at the start uh, Dehan and John they always give me uh, advices very uh, very good players yet yeah excellent I mean excellent. When, now that you mentioned team Nine Nine Life uh, again definitely people uh, go look them up on YouTube uh, look at their videos they're also amazing description below description below yeah. of course uh, and while mentioning that they'll like our content as well subscribe let us know what else do you want to uh, see from us uh, what uh, kind of content do you want uh, we're definitely all ears for the community yeah and now speaking about that, we have a survey. Yeah, we have we 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 have a survey about that going on, and we're, we're, you're going to see our results uh, tomorrow. I, I can just make a small spoiler that one of the most uh, one of the things that was most wanted was actually player interviews, and we are happy that we we uh, we also can bring you guys uh, an interview with with the with with the champion. So the uh, Mert, and now what what we are going to do? We're going to publish the the results tomorrow. Uh, so you'll, you'll you'll be able to see what else is coming up, and we did this survey uh, with three more teams, so they're going to publish their results for, specifically for Spain, for Italy, for France. Uh, I think uh, we collected all together about I, I'd say four to five percent uh, of, of 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 the whole European community. If I'm kind of counting based on the numbers of people in Facebook groups, so I'm I'm kind of taking this for free basically that. Uh, um, kind of an estimation, at least. So we have pretty, pretty good feedback. But we, we are also not done yet, Mattia, because we have what? We have definitely a giveaway. So uh, we're still giving away uh, coupons thanks to our sponsor, Card Market. This time we will be giving away two new coupons to uh, existing users uh, who uh, took uh, part in indulging our comment section uh, with uh, <laughs> their advices and uh, their shoutouts. Uh, so, Mert, would you be kind enough and do the honors uh, so that we can start the Wheel of Fortune? Wait a minute. Just say whenever you're ready and we will click the button. Yeah, click the button. <laughs> yeah, they say click to spin or press uh, ah, control spin. <laughs> or control press to enter. So, whenever you're ready, <laughs> shall we go with 3, 2, 1? Click the spin. <laughs> okay, I click to spin and... The first car market coupon of for existing user is going to looks like yeah suspension Slow. Evo Sergey. So congratulations, Evo. Uh, you will be contacted by one of our uh, team members, and you will be yeah by Andrea, the one above us, above me. Uh, 
and uh, he will definitely give you uh, the rest of the information. Congratulations! And to give away the second coupon, click the spin. Yep. Drum rolls and stuff like that. <laughs> We're going to have a few more of these guys, so make sure to like, subscribe, leave, leave a comment down below, share this video with, with, with your friends. And the winner for of the second coupon is a Katra18. So congratulations. Katra 18. Yeah, we will contact you. you uh, your people will hear from our people and uh, you'll get the amazing uh, coupon. Congratulations once again. Uh, and we also are still sharing uh, coupons for people who do not have a car market uh, account so far. So uh, please message us directly if you don't have a car market uh, account because uh, upon the registration process, if you enter one of our coupons, you will uh, start your balance with a 5 euro bonus. So hot buttons, here you come. And that would yep. pretty much be yep. everything uh, from us for this uh, current moment. Once again, uh, Matt, thank you very much for joining, uh, being part of the video session. Once again, congratulations on the win, and hopefully you will have um, a great streak in 2021. Uh, say uh, my kind regards to the rest of the Team 9 Live because I am one of your followers. Mo started, defi started definitely because uh, your content is in German. Uh, yeah. Hopefully that won't be a turnoff for other uh, players from other uh, communities because the deck uh, profiles are great. Uh, I actually love even the uh, the comments and the insight from most of your players. Yeah, so, we follow closely. Yeah, we have a very very huge community. We have fifty players in Germany. That's wow! Yeah. That's excellent. So when we uh, the first the last event we had. Uh, Almost forty players in one in one local, so it was a. Uh, that's a lot yeah. for one local. That's that's amazing. In Belgium, we got up to up maybe up to fifteen or twenty. Croatia, I think Matija is up up to ten. It was more a bit more more before. Yeah, we have the pre-corona and post-corona period, yeah, like most. Of, I mean, like everybody else, but yeah, numbers yeah. are just digits. People are uh, real. <laughs> That's a good thing to wrap up with, right? Yeah. Numbers are just digits. <laughs> Numbers are just digits. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Uh, again, thanks, Matt. Congratulations again. And uh, yeah, guys, keep following us. And thanks for all, all, all of your support. And keep a lookout.